Hey guys, Rick with FHF Gear here. I'm going to show you how to install your bear spray can inside of your bear spray light or this, these directions will work with the regular expandable bear spray holster. So it works on both of them. And I will also, in addition, show you how to mount this to the bottom of a harness or the chest rig. But first, let's get started with actually fitting the holster to your bear spray canister. The expandable nature of the holster, you can do an 8 ounce, 10 ounce or 13 ounce can. I'm going to demonstrate with this eight ounce can. First thing first, before you start putting the can in, you want to look at this little draw lock. And if it's in the closed position, it's going to slide freely. You want to squeeze that down till you hear a clicking noise and it will undo that spring tension in there. So now when you let go, it bites and stays locked onto the bungee. So that's first step. Then you want to fit the can inside. sliding it down in and with the dual bungees you want to split this upper uh, orange tab and you want to have one of the uh, legs of that tab going down behind the safety and the other one going in the front of the safety and then you'll have that bungee tension and that keeps that safety positively locked on there until you need it so then right off the bat you're going to start working that tension down through fitting the, and this is actually a really nice looking fit now. You want to ensure that you have your lower bungees looking in this fashion. You want to X in the middle by the two outer bungees. Then you want to take that draw lock and tighten it down. And you can tuck the excess so you can use a bigger can in the future, or you can retie a knot and cut the excess off to keep it nice and clean. So that's how you fit your bear spray inside the bear spray holster light or the regular expandable bear spray holster both same directions there. And keep in mind, you wanna balance that tension that it's not too tight up front and it's not too loose. You want good tension to keep that safety on, but then also in rapid deployment, you can pull back on that safety and deploy the canister. Now I'm gonna show you how to take the bear spray holster and mount it on the bottom of the bino harness or the chest rig. So we have our bear spray holster and we're gonna mount it on a bino harness, but once again, you can do the same thing on the bottom of the laser cut panel on the chest rig. So keep in mind orientation, we're gonna have this with the, how the trigger housing of the bear spray can to the right of the user. So we're gonna take the Molly attachment system here. We're gonna take that strip and you're simply gonna start weaving it through the bottom of the laser cut panel. So you're gonna go through the first loop and then you're gonna skip the first section and go through the second loop on the bear spray holster. And now you can see how those two systems kind of mesh up and you're gonna weave back and forth until it locks in the bottom of the bear spray can. So now to lock that in, you're gonna take that Molly strap, run it through that end loop and pull it all the way through nice and tight until it catches now it's locked on there now keep in mind you can mount this as i shown in this video or you can skip rows and bump it over to the side so your can isn't sticking off to one side or the other too far so you do have that customization in where you have that um, and where you have that holster mounted so there you go. That is attaching your bear spray holster to the bottom of the vinyl harness or the chest rig. If you have any questions about the bear spray holsters that we offer or the attachment method, just call in and we will get those questions answered. Thanks for watching.